ever since I was elected in 2011, I would say that one of the most consistent uh, complaints that I get from local residents is around dog fouling. Um, and interestingly, quite a high proportion of those complaints come from dog owners themselves. Uh, we're just fed up with it, fed up with the children walking in it, rolling in it in the parks, walking it through their houses and cars and so on. Absolutely sick to the back teeth of it. So uh, that's something over the years that I've campaigned to, um, and I have to say, not very effectively, uh, if I'm being honest, until now. Because uh, a couple of months ago, at a scrutiny committee at the council, I raised this issue again and asked the portfolio holder directly, will you put more resource into um, uh, tackling this problem? And resource equals money, basically. Um, so there's been several meetings and today uh, I attended a meeting where I am satisfied that the council are taking this matter very seriously and are going to deal with it very robustly. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of that right now um, because there's still just a little bit of work to finalise um, the targeted campaign to try and uh, resolve this matter. It is going to be a pilot and it's going to be trialled in a particularly problematic area of the borough. Um, but if it's successful, um, which I can't see any reason why it won't be, um, it's going to be rolled out hopefully to other areas of the of the borough. So watch this space and for all those residents who have been patient with me to try and get this matter resolved, uh, I just want to say there's definitely light at the end of the tunnel and um, the vile, filthy, disgusting uh, practice of dog fouling in our communities may finally get um, the attention it deserves.